sculpture and paintings here at the Trevor Sutton Gallery, I had a chance to talk with Ginny just before the show opened. To someone who had never seen your work, what is it that you do? Can, can you describe what, what your work is? <laughs> well, it's um, quite a conglomeration of things. I paint a good deal, and there's paintings in this show, and collabor collaborative paintings with Tom Robbins. There, uh, I do the glass sculptures, and then I also do some large-scale installation pieces. The glass sculptures are uh, miniature environments, and they're, they're very seductive, they're um, elaborate, and they're precious, and um, I think beautiful in the classical sense of the word. And they draw you in, I hope, and invite you into their space. Um, and they are sort of uh, vestiges of the vessel tradition in glass. They're, they're containers, but they don't really contain anything, which, and I uh, appreciate that paradox. And the installation pieces, I wanted, this is the second major installation that I've done, and I wanted to make pieces that would be an environment rather than exist within an environment that would um, force you, not only by their size, but by their complexity and their imagery, to uh, reevaluate your own existence in space. You're working in these different media. Is that, is that some reflection of your personal schizoid nature? <laughs> or, you know, why, why all of those things? Well, I've always said I'd get a tattoo that said, never boring, never bored. <laughs> um, an unfortunate thing about many of the people working in glass is that they take every idea they have and cram it into the glass media. It's like Cinderella's glass shoe, you know. It's, then the sisters were trying to force their feet in there. Well, they just don't fit. And some ideas don't fit in glass. Some ideas are better painted. Um, some ideas are better three-dimensional. What the way my sketchbook is, is that it's mostly words uh, rather than pictures. The reason is, if I have an idea or am circling around an idea and I write it down, I am not limited by um, the visuals. If I was to draw it, I would be limited to that particular way of approaching it. But if I write down the words, I still can save the idea and then at a future point figure out the best way to do it. You mentioned th that some of the paintings in the show are collaborations with Tom Robbins. How do you do collaborative paintings with someone, and how, how does that come about? <laughs> well, it, um, it is an interesting process. We were uh, coming back from a trip and discussing how we hadn't seen any paintings that we really liked and what we would like to see, which is a, a good reason to make a thing, because you want to see it. Why Nancy's hair? Nancy's hair is a, um, a wonderful shape. That's the main reason. And to take it out of context really lets you see the shape as it is. And then we, it has various permutations. Nancy's hair Buddha, uh, Nancy's hair Medusa back here. Um, and changing it to make it soft and hard. It's a wonderful hard edge shape. We're not uh, talking Nancy Reagan, we're talking Nancy and <laughs> Nancy Sluggo. Nancy and Sluggo. <laughs> Where's the fun in all this for you? The best thing about it is, um, and one of the things that this, this whole show is about, is about living in the present. And one of the, my favorite parts about it is that I am doing in my life exactly what I want to do. And life's too short not to. And that's the best part, that's the fun part. You can see what fun Jenny Ruffner's been having at the Traver Sutton Gallery through February 1st. I'm Gary Gibson for Night Sight.